Paula Franz, our guest, he's a musical artist. He's a carpenter who sings. He is also a designer. Uh, okay. I saw one of the shows where you, you had lots of decks in the round. Mm -hmm. How do you make wood go around? Oh, it's magic. Is it hard it to is, do? It is, uh, is it it, expensive to do, I should say? You know what? It's, it's actually not. I mean, the, the, when you're dealing, the first thing you're dealing with there is you're dealing with a material that you can bend. And so uh, the product that I'm using a lot is a product called Trex. Uh, T R E X, okay. right? And the particular decking, uh, they have created an actual oven. You guys have been trying to do this for years, and right. people get wowed by seeing pictures of decks with all these mm -hmm. curves in them. But like, how do you do it? Now they've come up with this oven that you can actually slide really? the board in. It cooks the board. It comes out. You board, you form it on a table. It's painstakingly long to do. It, don't get me wrong. The labor is mm -hmm. more intensive, but the finish is amazing. And maintenance. And you're talking about washing it like you wash your car. Okay. That's all you're doing. So is that a composite material? Yes, it Trex? is. Yes. Uh, what else? What other decking materials available? So much now. Eco wood, uh, cedar, what? Yeah, I mean, I th I th people still have, the mindset really still is either the pressure treated lumber, you know, the, the red cedar, or getting into the composites. There, you can go into PVCs, which is also, you know, very low maintenance. That's still kind of in the composite family. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I love getting into exotic hardwoods. But the exotic hardwoods are, they're stunning, they're beautiful, but there they is still are. a little bit more maintenance involved, but not the same as you're gonna do on a cedar deck floor. So on a cedar deck floor, if you have one, uh, how do you maintain it? Well, uh, I love, I use cedar all the time, but I use cedar on a vertical. The minute you use cedar on a horizontal, unless you are prepared for the maintenance, I mean, some guys, say, you know what, I work in an office, I want to go out on the weekend and I just want to strip this deck down. I'm using my hands. I like it. It's therapeutic for me. Fine. More power to you. Right. That's the exception to the rule. So the idea of using cedar on a vertical surface, well, you're going to get like five times the longevity of a stain, for instance, on a vertical surface. Whereas the, the flat surface, you're going to be restaining it every year. Okay. And I'll explain what you mean vertical. Up? Yeah. So I know that me a vertical means up. You're, 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 you're right on it, Fanny. It's a, it's, it's a horizontal surface means the deck floor. So when I'm talking up, I mean rails or like okay. uh, aerial structures. The, the, yeah. uh, the surround. Got it. Well, I was thinking, does he mean vertical yeah. going that way and horizontal going this way? I'm like, building some crazy like decks on the moon. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was wondering. <laughs> okay, so for um, now you've got uh, the floor for yes. the deck and to surround it. Um, steel, iron, you know what? modern. Nowadays, the sky literally is the is the limit mm. you, there are so many different options because because this is is, is a, a revolution sure people are now starting to demand more than the square box i mean the deck for years has been the same deck that clint eastwood walked out at the saloon doors onto and you know it's the square mm. box under your feet maybe the decking went <laughs> this way and now it goes this way that's changing now people are starting to demand and i love that the show is doing that it's right. expanding you know it's it's the, sure. the parameters of people's mindsets toward the backyard it's it's opening up so now, all the products are starting to come out. You're starting to get such cool stuff out there. You're getting a lot of, you're seeing a lot of glass systems, a lot of cool railing systems, a lot of you know, you really unique outdoor fireplaces, uh, lighting systems mm -hmm. that are just mind blowing. Lighting is a real important factor in part I'm of what sure I like. I'm sure it do. is. So you really want us to walk out and feel like we're not out, but we are out kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. you're in a zone and you come out of your house and you're in the zone and to create that, you need lighting, all of that. All uh, anything spect solar lighting? What kind uh, of lighting? LEDs is what I really like using because you're not, okay. now you're not changing light bulbs anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, it's, it's the, the power, it takes next to no power to run them and they, they go on on their own, they go off on their own. You don't okay. have to think. It's, it's, you just come home, the lights come on for you, they go off at night, it's wonderful. And here, as you know, we're in Rainville. Yes. Even in the summer, rumor has it that it rains here. So, uh, any particular materials really good to use? Rain, snow, really, in, really in durable. Um, are you talking about like a decking product? Yeah, the decking or the or the railings because uh, the glass looks fabulous. You know, it's so it costs hard. a lot too. But that big thick glass, and then there's yeah. especially if you have a view and you look out, and there's. I There's love glass. No mess in there. I love glass. I love using metal. Mm -hmm. I love using things that you don't expect on the deck. It's unfortunate that the natural wood products just seem to take a lot more work to maintain right. them. Yeah. Um, but I will still, I, I don't like getting away from natural wood, but I will, I love using stuff like Ipe or uh, KU, which is, uh, these are all like, an, or say, an Indonesian or a Brazilian hardwood, you know, responsibly managed forest where you get these, these products that are meant to be in the mm -hmm. outdoors. And 
you're just oiling them instead of stripping and staining them. And so, they're, but they're gorgeous because it feels like out. It sure. does feel like an extension of the home then, because mm -hmm. you're dealing with. It looks like a hardwood floor, mm -hmm. even if it's on a railing system. And you and you get what you pays for usually. It's true. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's an old. That's an adage mm -hmm. that'll never die. A stairs. Yes. Outdoor stairs, deck stairs, levels, important? I know it depends on the size of your backyard. It does, and you know what? It's I love, love changing levels, because I think it adds dynamic. If I mm -hmm. do, I like to change by two steps, because it means you now have built in a bench into your deck. So if you have get-togethers, you have ability to sit down. Two level changes is like roughly 15, 16 inches. That's perfect, perfect height, chair right. height. Um, but you got to be careful when you change levels because sometimes you can mess up the, 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 the functionality of a deck. So you really have to be careful. How it's I done. bet. And when Granny walks out, yes, and, and sometimes takes a flop in the backyard with her gin. Sometimes not it's just so good. Not smart. Yeah. No. Uh, so tell me how the show actually works. How, how long it takes you to shoot most of them? The crew. You got a blonde on the crew. I noticed. Yes. Uh, yes, I do. I a tell you. A beautiful blonde woman. And uh, she. My daughters will look up to to her. Well, I'll start with the show itself. I mean. Uh, each individual show, they're my clients. So basically we are going through a process of design prior, to, and I will choose, of all the, the clients that I design for, I will look and say, I would like to do this and this and this and this one on the show. Right. And so then we will go through the process of, um, of actually building it. And typically it's about you know seven shoot days, but it can range from seven days to right. build it to a month and a half, depending sure. on the size. Nasty weather and all of yeah, that. Yeah, and you know we are, we are mm -hmm. dealing with the elements, which is fun, mm -hmm. puts hair on your chest. Uh, you know, but not Kate, so we'll talk about Kate now. It's a good segue into Kate. Katie yeah. is a, uh, she's wonderful because she's not, she's not the girly girl, and she's not the helper. She is in there with the yeah. boys, and, yeah. uh, and, that's the, and that when she came, when she came on board, uh, basically I was able to let her loose. Mm -hmm. And uh, once she was let loose, it's like there's no reason why that girl cannot do everything the boys can do uh, it's you know don't and I like I said I have four daughters so right. this is this is personal for me. You learned the lesson well. I, ha equality. I have and my wife would kill me if I exactly if I did, so equality I on the deck. Of it course is. it should be. But uh, digging a post, doing all of that, so I learned something from the show. One of the shows that when you're marking, I will not be doing this. <laughs> but when the guy I hire, or yes, the girl I hire, yes. is, is uh, uh, marking with the uh, paint so mm -hmm. that you know where to put the post. You make big fat marks. Yes. Because. And this made so much sense to me. When you dig up the dirt, then it covers the mark that where you thought the mark was, and then you're scraping the dirt away and all of you that. Don't want to, you don't want to screw up the footings. That's the beginning. No, you have a good base. Good base, right? yeah, absolutely. Uh, and in the in the little warm room you created, mm -hmm. uh, do you spray foam? How do you keep it warm? Is there a little heater in there? What's going there, on? Yeah, there is an electric heater. It's on a uh, so in that particular episode, uh, it is on a remote from the house. So you okay. so you don't have to go out there to turn it on. You just hit a remote. Say I want it to be this temperature. An hour later, you go out. It's nice and toasty, right. warm. Use the hot tub. Go inside. But yeah, spray foam. Love the spray foam. Mm -hmm. All of that. What's your deck look like? My deck is, uh, for years, I was the epitome of the shoemaker with the holes in his shoes and the barber with the bad haircut. And uh, so finally last year, I got to build uh, something a bit crazy. I had a lot of bad sushi the night before. came up with a wild design. And uh, mm. so it's got bridges and ponds and fireworks. Really? And, and colors and, and cushions and oh all yeah. of that or it's, what? So finally, I'm going home myself and living what I'm talking mm. about. So I actually get to go home and actually sit oh, in the backyard and go. And do you have a sound system out there? Uh, you know what? I don't. Because as much as I like listening to loud music in the car, right. I just like listening to the water okay, when I go great. back there. And water is a great element it in is. any yard. It is. Water, stone. Uh, so when you see a deck that knocks you out, mm. it has the elements of it's got water dripping, perhaps. Yep. Little sound. Little fire. Little smell, perhaps. Yep. Some lovely scents. Some All the senses. If you can stimulate the senses, when, when you go to a resort, that's what you want. You mm -hmm. want to be stimulated in all the ways that are positive. So uh, if you can take those elements and put them into your backyard, most people go, no, it can't be possible. I say, I beg to differ. Go for it. Yes. Okay, so we'll go for Decked Out at 10 o'clock on April 24th on HGTV. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Paul hey. LaFrance. Thanks you for having Scotch me. You Scotch-Irish guy. <laughs> That's Thank confusing, you. I know. I know.